What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel where I show you guys where all the unique weapons and armors are. In today's video I'm going to show you where the best chest in the entire game is because it literally has not only an incredible set of armor but also the best longsword in the entire game and one of the best blunt weapons and axe weapons as well. So you're kind of like you get to this chest and you are pretty much kitted to go. Now, I must warn you, sometimes this chest is a very hard lock, but I asked about 20 people to search this, and some of them said that it wasn't even locked at all. In fact, most of them said that. So it's worth going to check, even if you can't undo the lock yet, just to see if it is locked or not. Northeast from Retire, you'll find Neuhof, which is a stables. If you go northeast from Neuhof, up this pathway let me zoom in for you guys just up this pathway here carry on going and eventually we're going to come to a campsite which i'll show you in a second pretty much where this flag is where these hills are just here between the trees you'll find this campsite and at this campsite you'll find a awesome treasure chest you can see neuhof just over there the stables let's turn around and carry on going and you just want to keep an eye out to your left here Go past these trees and you'll see a wagon. Once you see this wagon, you should be able to see the tents just up ahead. Now this campsite is completely empty. For me at least. There may be bandits here for you, I'm not sure. But, once you're in this campsite, you will find a cooking pot that's still boiling for some reason. And there's also a very hard chest here with the Boshe shield, which is actually the best shield in the entire game. So you're definitely going to want to pick this one up. But you want the lockpick to be as close to the center as possible. This one is quite far away, which means it's going to be harder because we've got to rotate further away and longer around. And it's just much harder. So you want that lockpick sweet spot to be as close to the center as possible just to make your life easier. So here we are. It's pretty close to the center. So we're going to start rotating and just keep it in this sweet spot right here. Take your time with it. As soon as you get close to the end, just sort of swiftly swivel the uh, lock pick and that will unlock it pretty easily. Now I'm using an Xbox controller and if you guys are on console, uh, it's a lot harder than if you're on PC, but um, you know, I've just got sort of got used to playing the game on console, so I'm quite good at it. Right guys, just to quickly interrupt before I show you guys the stuff in this chest, it is not available on PC and console after patch 1.3. They've actually removed it from the game because it has all of the end game gear pretty much hidden in a chest in the wilderness. It is however possible to remove the patch from your console or computer and go back to either patch one or patch 1.1 where you will find this chest with all of the stuff I show you in the video now inside it. Because it literally has the best longsword, the best shield, one of the best war hammers and axes and armor sets in the game. So it's kind of completely overpowered that this is even here right now. It's actually a mistake by the developers to put it here and they're gonna correct that mistake after patch 1.3. So get it while you can and you can also remove your patch if you don't know how to do that. I'll leave a quick guide in the description on how to do it. If you don't wanna do that, however, this same chest will be available at the end of the game to you anyway, so you can just finish the game and you'll get this chest. But I just thought I'd tell you guys that important piece of information. It was one of the reasons why I didn't release this video until now. I found it literally day one and I didn't want to sort of share it with you guys until I spoke to the developers because I thought it was really strange that you could get a chest with all the end game items in at the start of the game. But I am going to have links in the description as well as to where you can find all these really good unique weapons in the game like they're all scattered around it not in one place in one chest which you can find them here so i just thought i'd explain the whole backstory behind why this stuff is here and you guys can do whatever you want with it but here we go we've got a whole armor set here and it's really good armor as well 
We've also got St. George's Longsword, which is actually the best longsword in the entire game. It does 72 damage, 72 stab damage as well. And also this sword has a defense of 110, so it's the best longsword in the game without a doubt. If you're on console, by the way, there is another location you can get this sword. And if you're on PC, you might also want to check out that video. I'll link it down below in the description for all of you. But this sword is worth 2,200 gold, so it's definitely worth having duplicates of it. Raven's Beak is also in this as well. It's a very, very good blunt weapon. Um, and we've also got Noble Hunting Sword, Nobleman's Gauntlets, and this Curious 23 Defense. There is one Curious in the game that is better than it, and I will leave a guide on where to find that down below linked in the description. It only has one more armor, so it's almost not worth even getting. And then we've got the Plate Chasse here, Heavy Holberg, Decorated Male Coif, and I'm going to just quickly show you guys the stats of these armors, but I'm not going to talk too much about them. But basically, this is a full armor set, and it's going to completely kit your character out and make them insanely good. So the battle axe, personally, well, this is actually one of the best axes in the game. But personally, I don't really use the axe weapons, so I don't really think they're worth using. Noble Sword is actually a short sword. It's a very, very, very good short sword. As you can see, it needs a minimum agility of 11, though. And also, if I carry on going down, slowly showing you guys these stats, the St. George's Sword actually needs a minimum strength of 12. So yes, it is the best longsword in the game, but um, it's not going to be usable by you if you're just starting out. So I've got a, I'm going to be making a starter guide on where to find all the best starter equipment. I suggest checking out that video for the best starter weapon because you won't even be able to use this yet here is the shield though that we also picked up guys let me just show you this it's worth 609 gold and it has a defensive value of 150. now this is actually the best defensive value in the game as well to the best of my knowledge i haven't actually there's one shield i haven't found yet which i'm not so sure if it's better or not but I know that this has a minimum strength of five and it also gives the best defense. So I think it's probably the best shield in the entire game. You can also buy it or steal it in the retire market as well, which is worth mentioning. If you want some armor for your horse, I've also got a video on that. There's a whole playlist with different locations of where you can find all this stuff. Just sit and watch through them all and you'll eventually find all the different unique items in the game. But it's pretty awesome now your character is going to be very well geared now the biggest inhibitive thing about having a good armor set is it's going to cost you more money to repair it because your maintenance skill probably won't be high enough to repair it yourself now it is always worth it to repair your armor even when selling it it's good to repair your armor before you sell it because then it's going to be like three times more as valuable and the money it costs to repair it is tiny compared to the more money you'll get when you actually come to sell that armor. But in terms of defending yourself, really good armor is going to cost more to maintain. So I highly recommend getting this speech perk called Final Offer. You can unlock it at level four speech. So you can unlock it really early on in the game. And basically guys, how you use it is you always haggle when you're going to repair your armor and you go for the bottom most number you can and then the merchant will give you his lowest offer in response. And that is the maximum discount you can get when repairing your armor. So that's my top tip there guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe and also press that little bell icon as well and then YouTube will notify you when the next Kingdom Come Deliverance Guide is out. I'm literally doing like two videos a day. One's a let's play and sometimes one or two guides every now and again. I'm trying to, I've got so many ideas. I just don't have the time to, uh, you know, like edit everything and get everything out. So I'm trying to work as hard as I can to do that for you guys. But I hope you guys are enjoying this game. I know I really am. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.